think you're going to be very popular here. Funny, I don't see your fan club either. These inmates just can't catch a break. Y'all fellas sure you want to ride this train? Shoot you, asshole. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 prison fights in movies. For this list, we're looking at big screen scenes in which at least one character fights another person while in prison. That was quite an entrance. Number 10, Ambush, Tango, and Cash. Real badass cops. <laughs> Here's a movie fight so big that Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell had to team up to bring it to life. In this buddy cop action comedy, Stallone plays Ray Tango and Russell plays Gabriel Cash, two officers who are arrested for a crime they didn't commit. Why did you do that? Why? Yeah, why? I was having a bad day. Like now? Like now! As they try to escape prison, they receive a surprise visit from other inmates. In the group is an old enemy of Tango's, who has injuries from a previous fight with him. It must be you. On the streets, this pig and his cop friends broke my ribs, my leg, and my jaw. Knowing they have to defend themselves, the lieutenants launch a surprise attack, so startling it'll make you jump out of your seat. <laughs> Number nine, anti-rape tactic, Big Stan. Yo, Big Stan, what about the counterfeiters? Big Stan, played by Rob Schneider, is sent to prison for fraud. Having prepared himself for months as a martial artist with training by the master himself, David Carradine, If he has good clothes, then you must fight him at a distance. He begins his prison stay by showing the rest of the inmates that he's not to be messed with, or raped. From now on, there will be no more rape at this prison. He does this by locating the most dangerous sexual predator in prison, after some insults, Schneider hilariously and unexpectedly cuts the giant down to size, and for good measure, even drops his pants. This leads the others to confront Stan, but that turns out to be a massive mistake. His fight may be number nine on this list, but when it comes to biggest ego, Big Stan would certainly take rank number one. Number eight, you're not the devil, your practice. Batman begins. And I am the devil. <laughs> you're not the devil, your practice. In this franchise reboot, Bruce Wayne is shown to have had an especially turbulent life following the death of his parents and ends up in an Asian prison. While in line for food, a large inmate walks up and knocks the food out of his hand. After the man hits Bruce, he fights back by headbutting him. Seeing the fight, the other prisoners attack him too. However, he manages to beat every attacker until the guards take him away. When he asks the guards about protection, they say the protection is not for him, but for the others. We expect nothing less from Batman. I don't need protection. Protection for them. Uh, uh. Number seven. Oh yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Bradley Cooper voices Rocket the Raccoon, who, along with the rest of his gang, is imprisoned in the kiln for stealing a powerful orb. That dude there. I need his prosthetic leg. His leg? Yeah. So, he comes up with a plan for them to escape, which includes obtaining several items, such as a battery from a column. Once the battery is removed, everything is gonna slam into emergency mode. However, grabbing the battery sets off alarms, causes the security droids to activate, and triggers a riot. I am Groot! Fire! Gunnut Rocket manages to get his hands on a weapon, and with his pal Groot takes on the security droids before mounting their escape. This insane plan will have you in stitches while you wait in suspense to see if they succeed. Oh, I was just kidding about the leg. I just need these two things. What? No, I, th I thought it'd be funny. Was it funny? Number six, I am Caster Troy. Face off. In this film, John Travolta plays an FBI agent who takes on the face and identity of Nick Cage's terrorist Caster Troy. Watch your mouth! 
Sent undercover to a prison to get close to Troy's brother, he soon has to prove himself. Getting into a fight with another inmate, he knocks him to the ground and beats him repeatedly while announcing to the entire crowd that he is Caster Troy. I'm Caster Troy! Yeah! I'm Caster Troy! As the fight continues, he picks up a tray to finish the job. However, being an actual good guy, he hesitates. Throughout the entire scene, you can't help but be entranced by the character's insanity and wonder how they could fit Travolta into a Nicolas Cage suit. Number five, relax, it's pretend, escape plan. Well, for a man who is not interested, he's doing a lot of looking. In this action thriller, Stallone plays Ray Breslin, a specialist hired by the government to test their newest high security prison by adopting a false identity and attempting to escape. What do you need? I need to get into the isolation area. No, you really don't. Along the way, he encounters Arnold Schwarzenegger, whose character is known for providing favors. That's a favor? Well, sometimes favors hurt. Once Stallone finds him, Schwarzenegger instigates a ruse of a fight to initiate the first step in their now joint escape plan. Guess boys won't be boys. What results is a brutal, albeit play fight, between Stallone and Schwarzenegger, something moviegoers could only dream of before. Relax. Let's pretend. Number four, don't mess with Bronson. Bronson. My name's Charles Bronson. This drama sees Tom Hardy play Charles Bronson, who gets thrown into prison for robbing a post office. He's driving through the spirit tonight. He spends his time in there constantly training and working out. What we find out next is that Hardy's character doesn't work out for nothing. When several prison guards come after him, he attempts to fight back. However, the officers manage to bring him to the floor. But after the fight, Hardy is black, blue, and red all over. Literally. Fighting inmates is one thing, but you probably shouldn't mess with authority. <laughs> Number three, Nowhere to Run, Fast and Furious 6. You're lucky this door's between us. In the sixth installment of the Fast and Furious franchise, Paul Walker returns as Brian O'Connor. And this time around, he gets himself locked up to gain information about an enemy soldier named Shaw. Trust me, this is way above your pay grade. <laughs> Humor me, please. At one point, a couple of prisoners show up outside of Brian's cell and open it. To O'Connor's surprise, they are armed with knives. What happened to Laddie is on your head. He fights all of the prisoners and stabs one of them to force him to spill the beans about Shaw. What is Shaw up to? How what? do you think he knows your next move before you make it? Thanks to the brilliant idea of filming this scene inside a cell in which Walker's character obviously has no room to run, simultaneously leaves the audience with only the edge of our seats to sit on. Number two, Prison Rescue, Watchmen. How do we know he's still alive? In this graphic novel adaptation, Silk Spectre and Night Owl 2 decide to rescue their incarcerated superhero buddy, Rorschach. <laughs> However, they get there right as a full-on prison revolt has taken place. Needless to say, they have to defend themselves. The superheroes manage to defeat all of the inmates in true super style. In addition to the awesome fighting, the film's use of slow motion and diverse camera angles makes sure that audiences have a serious adrenaline rush all throughout. Before we release our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wolf's coming at you. Is his handcuffed? Yes. Which one? He's right. Welcome to hell!
Number one, Mud Fight, The Rage 2. This Indonesian action crime thriller sees Iko Wise as Rama, a cop who goes undercover to a deadly prison in order to gain information about corrupt cops and their shady dealings. While there, Rama, known as Yuda, protects an inmate who's being attacked, but this sparks a riot. This means he has to defend himself from the inmates, but they throw him into the mud while other guards rush out to try to stop them. What happens next is an epic fight between the guards and inmates, and the choreography is so amazing that this fight just had to top our list. When it ends, you can't help but still be pumped from all the incredible action. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite movie prison fight? For more fascinating top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.